Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam and this is the Budget Basher. And inside the Budget Basher is the Diatone Mamba F405 flight controller. And you may know that we've been having some uh, death roll, spiral of death, out of control issues with this thing. Still not sure what it is, but I've got some more information for you. I got the black box, the data from that. I had an occurrence the other day of this thing flipping out. So I got that data and I overlaid it on to this very short video that I'm gonna show you right now. This is actually my first time working with black box analyzer type stuff. Um, so I don't really know what I'm doing, but I wanted to give this to you people who might know and, and be able to understand what's going on with this. We're gonna play it and uh, watch it right now. <clears throat> By the way, all of these settings in the black box analyzer are default. So far, so good. And then it just freaks out. So you can see, you can see that uh, I I did like a kind of like a, a flip, a backflip there, and it was fine. But then when I pitch forward. When I do a, a, a when I give it full power and then pitch forward, it freaks out. And I'm running Betaflight 4.0 and all that stuff, and you can see that uh, you'll see that all that information uh, later in the video. And it's just it just freaks out. So let's watch that again, even slower. Okay, so that was the that was the first one that I did backflip kind of like a power loop and then I just I pitch forward rapidly here it is even slower and then it just freaks out and see the forward left motor it looks like it's at full throttle if if all if the you know settings are correct by the way, I'm running my props so that they're spinning outward. And here's all the uh, information. Uh, you can feel free to pause it and uh, check it if you want to. Like I said, I'm not exactly sure what to look for, but I thought there's a lot of smart people out there, and you could probably uh, probably figure something out from all this information. And just in case the the uh, data was kind of hard to see on the overlay, here it is, uh, separate, separate from the video. I have the Betaflight 4.0 OSD stick overlay, but as you can see, it's not nearly as good as the stick overlay in the black box analyzer. And that's when I disarm. So I don't know. I'm not sure uh, totally what's going on. It does look like the forward left motor is freaking out. I don't think that would be an issue with just the motor. That doesn't seem to make sense. So anyway, let me know uh, if you're having a similar situation with the forward left motor or what is going on there. And maybe you can do something like this and then uh, we'll get all of our brains together and try and solve this problem and see what's going on with this flight controller. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.